Welcome to a short video about my experience with the FTZ adapter on the Nikon Z6 or Z6 II camera. Well, I had this thought of buying a new mirrorless Nikon camera since it was initially published by Nikon. But there was one thing in my mind which held me back from buying it. I always had fear and I was always afraid that uh, my existing Nikon lenses or, or at least F-mount lenses from Sigma wouldn't work on the FTZ adapter as expected. Um, maybe because autofocus might be slower, maybe because autofocus might be less might be less precise than I was used to, or maybe because autofocus or focus uh, images were out of focus. I always had this in this thought in my mind, and so I I kept I I, I draw this whole thing away from me. And didn't and didn't buy a camera until now and um, yes I have this camera um, for a week now and I've tested all my Sigma lenses with the with the FTZ uh, adapter long story short there is no problem maybe this is something which helps you because it would have would have helped me if I had known some voices which were saying you can do it you can switch to the mirrorless system you don't have to be uh, afraid that anything doesn't work or something. Which lenses have I tried? I have tried the 24 70mm 2.8 from Sigma, which is my um, almost on lens. It works perfectly. Uh, the camera recognizes the lens, um, all controls are available, um, uh, optical uh, image stabilization works perfectly. Um, I tested my macro lens, it's the 105mm uh, 2.8 from the old Sigma series. I've tested my uh, Tele, it's the 150-600 contemporary line, no problem at all. And because this was my former always on lens on the DX format, I've tested the Sigma 1835 which makes totally no sense on a full format camera like the uh, Z6 II. But um, I, I know how this lens feels when shooting in the field and um, I, I can compare uh, how autofocus, for example, is working um, between using it on a D500 or D7500 or on the Z6 II. And um, yeah, there's no difference. Uh, between both cameras. Um, it, it works just as I was uh, used to and from that point of view I can really tell you you don't have to worry about autofocus being not precise, being not fast, and being uh, out of focus. Everything works as I would have expected it on my former cameras D500 or D7500 with the F to Z adapter. No problem. There's only one thing about this adapter that really bugs me, but it is not of a technical um, reason. It's just because I'm not used to, the, to, it, to this. Um, I used to mount my adapter plate for tripod or my carrying system uh, on the bottom of the camera, which is impossible now because the FTZ adapter is, um, is a little bit too large. So if I would mount that plate here, I cannot uh, slip the camera into the tripod head because the FTZ adapter would be in the way. As a workaround, you can use your adapter plate and uh, attach it to the FTZ adapter. It is something Nikon did by design because um, they wanted to have the weight on the FTZ adapter and not on the camera if you are uh, using a, a very heavy lens as the 150-600 for example. Then maybe the um, connection would twist or something like this. So yeah, it was uh, done by design, but it is something um, which is new to me. And there is one, one thing about this. You, you notice that between the adapter plate and the lens body, there is only very less, uh, a very few space here. And so this makes it a little bit uh, tricky to slide in the camera with the adapter plate. For example, in my peak design capture clip the free carrying system uh, because here is so 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 few space only available it's it's really kind of tricky so that's really annoying me at the moment but 
everything technical works really it, it, it's it works like a charm perfect but the placement of the adapter plate I'm not so lucky I'm not so happy about this but um, yeah I have to get used to it or on the other hand I would have to buy uh, Z mount lenses the one thing is getting on my nerves the other one um, is getting on my money so uh, this would be an expensive investment but yeah I have to figure that out uh, I hope in this video I could tell you uh, about my experience with this FTZ adapter and uh, take some of your fears yeah, you find uh, product links to all the lenses I use and products that I show here underneath the video in the video description and in the first comment all of these links are Amazon affiliate links this means we will earn a commission on your purchases on those links of course anyways these are products that I'm using uh, for for years now and I can really recommend them so uh, my recommendation is honest and sincere um, yeah make sure to hit the subscribe button for my channel and uh, I'll keep you updated on further um, topics about the Nikon Z6 and C6 II and uh, other Nikon cameras and photography utilities. See you!